Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are currently sitting at Sackville here in the Free Worlds League. We're upgrading our Argo. Right now we're waiting for the structural repair to finish here before we actually leave the system. So we got about 13 days to kill while we're here. So I think we're going to go to our command center here and look, have a look at our contracts. Um, since we got our upgraded Panther and stuff, I'm thinking maybe taking a little higher level mission would probably be the best thing to do. I'm thinking probably this Two Skull mission here. Um, which is basically a destroy base on a lunar environment. Um, so let's take a look at this. A consortium of local government manufacturers has been losing ground to a Marek competitor for e um, every fiscal quarter for years. It's come time to turn the tables with one well-timed strike at the primary Marek manufacturing plant here in the Sackville system. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So it looks like we're going to be facing probably at least one lance um, and some turrets, maybe two lances, I'm not sure, a two skull, but we'll see. So we're going to negotiate, and since we're okay for cash, we're going to go right up to 418. Take as much salvage as pros possible out of this. Hopefully we can uh, come up against some good mechs. And we're going to have to watch out for height here, overheating again this time, but uh, let's deploy and uh, let's, let's see what we can do here. Command interface initiated. All right, four mechs on the ground. Lunar environment. We really need to watch our heat here. Um, and if I had to guess, I would bet you they're going to have reinforcements coming in here. Um, so we're going to reserve back to turn one. Um, let's see what we can get a good look at the base here. So yeah, I think we'll reserve back to turn one. Um, try and keep ourselves in cover here in case they've got direct fire turrets. Missiles we can't really do much about right away, but uh, we'll take on their defenders and then go after the base. So let's reserve back to turn one. Reserving action. All right, I'm standing here. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, height to move first, uh, only because he's got good range, but also too, but because he's just got flamers, right, he's probably not gonna be firing here on the first turn. Enemy contact. Oh, I really love the uh, work they put in on this game. It looks so nice. All right, so none of them are moving. Looks like we got three units. My guess, one mech and a couple of vehicles. So let's move Vane Skater second in case these guys do decide to move. And I'm going to try and keep them close to the cliff face here. <coughs> Once again, just trying to keep uh, protection of the cliff so we don't get shot. Well, they're not moving. So let's get everybody up on this side. So... I was wrong. It was inverted. <laughs> it's two. It's uh, two mechs in one vehicle. And then let's get Flatliner up in behind here. On my way. Double time. Now, depending on how many um, units we have to face here, I want to hang on to those many LRMs as I can to go after those turrets. If there's an LRM turret here, I want to be able to take it down sooner rather than later. So we're just going to reserve here. Let them come in. Belladonna AC-10. Okay, what's that? Is that a hover vehicle? Oh, it's all clan stuff. Ouch. That is not good. So that's an Ultra Clan AC-10. Pair of clan flamers, which we could probably use in a bunch of clan light machine guns. So we can't let this guy survive past this turn. So how much armor are we talking about here? Oh, a fair bit. So I am going to move um, ground zero on this side. And let's have a look at who this guy is over here too. Double time. Let's go. So this is Wolverine. Ah, okay, cool. We got a chance to get some Wolverine parts. Looks like it's the stock Wolverine. So we're going to shoot at the Belladonna here. Or Bologna, sorry. Try and get a uh, double shot in the same location and kill him. Nope. Couldn't get that lucky. Alright, what's this guy doing? Kind of nice, kinda nice uh, coloring pattern there. Ugh, stop shooting me. I'm hoping that this is the rest. This is all that they've got. So, um... 
What do we got up here? Is this a dagger? It's just a regular locust. Two Goss mag shots, two ER small. So we don't want him to get behind us. So yep. height, I think we're going to move you over here. And we're going to unleash with three flamers on this guy. I don't want to go with too many because we're going to overheat really fast, as you can already see here. So we're just going to shoot. Um, front takes 35. So yeah, let's just go with three. Maybe we'll get lucky and kill it. Nope. So Vanskater is going to go next. Okay, that's the last of the Lance here. And he's going on turn three, so it's a medium vehicle. What's up, huh? So let's get you just back over here. We're going to shoot everything at this guy. Hopefully we can kill him here. Yeah, nice shot. Cool. So that guy's done. It sure is. All right, Flatliner, let's get you forward here, and we're going to shoot on this Wolverine. Firing all the LRMs. Maybe take them off balance a little bit. Nice connection. So that's a turret. Okay, good. Double misses. I don't know if that's two PPCs or light PPCs. All right, so first things first, uh, let's get ground zero here. Um, let's move back over here and shoot the Wolverine in the side. We're just going to go with the PPC. We're going to leave the medium laser off. Okay, was that a leg hit? I think it was. Find out after the locust moves. Yeah, see, okay, please be milling. Yeah. Okay. Much prefer him milling rather than shooting me in the back with all those guns. But that's a fatal error. I mean turning your back to to a missile boat and stuff back here, it's a bad idea. Okay, so this guy did get hit forty eight in the leg. So let's put height. Let's get him moving out of the way here. I want him to stay away from the, where the Wolverine can see him because he's already taken a big hit in the torso there. So we're just going to move around behind the uh, dagger here. We're going to shoot him in the back. Just going to overheat him. We're just going to go with three flamers. We're not going to go full out. I, I want to save my flamers full of Wolverine. Commander? And we're just going to move you back a little bit. Location confirmed. And we're going to shoot this guy in the back. Let's leave these off. Uh, and just go with the well let's try and take them out we don't really need the stuff on the locust shoot my own guy in the leg there what the hell okay so he's gonna probably move just walking and nothing So we're going to back up Flatliner here. Let's get rid of this Locust. Guns off the field. And we'll put everything into his back. We might as well just unload on this guy. Cry havoc. Goodbye. Are there none who can send before me? Yeah, that's just jinxing it, buddy. Don't say stuff like that. Okay, I want to know what this vehicle is. A Drillson. Streak SRMs. Mm-hmm. Warning. Minimal damage. Oh, see, you jinxed it again. Oh. Gotta stay out of those PPCs here, but we gotta kill this vehicle. So we're looking at how much here? 106, 85 at the back. So is does he have his back turned to us? It's so hard to tell sometimes. He doesn't. But it's saying I'm targeting his rear. So I don't really know how that works. Um, okay. Want this Wolverine. So let's go with height. And we're going to come around to the side here. Uh, I want to make sure that if I'm going to be targeted by the turrets, that 
I have my side facing them, so because I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to take it straight on. Okay, so we're gonna unload on him, and I think what we'll do now that we've got an offensive push is we will pull off an offensive push and we'll go after his leg here. Uh, it's got what, 48. So let's go with if we can. Yeah, four flamers. If we get lucky, we might be able to take his leg, but probably not. Okay, we hit with two. That's fair. Reporting. Critical hit. Okay. Now, Vane Skater, same idea. We're going to move him back, though. Um, we're going to sprint probably here, I think. On the move. Full speed. And we'll shoot on him. And we're just going to leave the medium pulse off. So we're running into heat problems already. All we need is a couple of hits. There we go. Tags on him. 15 heat. Now what we'll do is we'll take ground zero. See, I don't understand how that's shooting the side of that vehicle. So we're going to move up. Play a little dangerous game. Move up and see if we can take out this drill sin. Uh, we can't with the PPC, so let's just shoot at him with the medium laser this turn. And then flatliner after that drillson moves. See now he's backing up. It's kind of weird. Who are you going after? You're going to shoot me in the back, aren't you, you bastard? They got such good speed. Oh no. Okay. It's a better target. He's got more armor. All right. So flatliner, we're going to back you up a little bit. And we're going to do a little targeting on the Wolverine here. Actually, we're going to split our fire. We're going to put our medium lasers on the drill sin, and we're going to put our missiles on the Wolverine. And hopefully we get another head, head hit on the Wolverine. Or a head hit on the Wolverine. Let's go, buddy. Let's get one head hit on him. Got enough missiles for it. Let's do it. Or we take that leg. That would be nice. Nope. Let's see what he does. He might panic and try and run away. Nope, he's just gonna stand in the radiation and take extra heat for some reason. <laughs> sure. It's up to you, buddy. That's just great. Oh, they didn't shoot the PPCs this time. Okay, cool. So let's get behind the wall here again, or the cliff. Gonna shoot on the drill sin. This time we're gonna swap around to the PPC. Nice. Then we're going to bring Vane Skater around here to the back of the Wolverine. And since we're just walking, we're going to do an offensive push. Shoot him in the back. We probably won't hit very much back here, but it's not a big deal. We just want to heat him up a little bit. And push him back one turn so we can get a better chance at knocking him down. So let's move over here. I got you. Let's warm him up a little bit. Just going to use two flamers, I think. Because that's all we can use. No, we can't even use two. <laughs> Let's just use one then. Come on, take that leg. Oh, nothing. That's a miss. That was a miss. So what are we looking at for the leg here? 13. And he's still got tons of armor everywhere else. So let's maneuver flatliner into to a position where we're not shooting them just from this side I don't know if I can do that from the back do I want to shoot them in the back though uh, if we're gonna do it let's just walk over here shoot them from this side mm, yeah I think I'm a little bit unstable Make him rethink why he's standing there. Where's he going now? Really? Well, at least he's exposing the leg. That's what I want. No, 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 no. Shoot. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, no shit, eh? Uh, okay. So, 
Um, I want to go with Vein Skater first. We're going to bring him around the side here. And hopefully we get lucky and take that leg off. But I want to use the Goss Mag Shot, I think, um, as well. What about the small? No, it's just too much heat. So we're just going to go this route. Nope. Come on, come on. At least a little bit of leg damage there. And he shut down. Perfect. Now we don't need a offensive push here. So let's sprint height back here behind the wall. As long as there's no reinforcements, this guy's done for today, I think, pretty much, until those towers are down. Um, so let's just... that's this, hmm. We can walk her up here. So I am going to take just the medium laser. We're going to try and leg him. So let's just go after this leg. Nope. Come on, man. Really? Battle mech power up detected. You couldn't get him, eh? Alright, you gotta move out this way. Gotta get lucky. Get a head hit. And then knock him down. So let's leave the medium lasers off. Just fire the missiles. Starting to get tired now. So we got the leg, got the torso. So now you should be down to one pilot health. Yep. Okay. So let's just move it up over here and try and get that other leg. PPC up. What, how much do we need here? Yeah, he's got lots of armor, so let's go with both. Come on, leg him. Okay, how much did we do, though, and where? I think he hit something good too, buddy. It was two leg shots. Perfect. Okay, so Van Skater coming around. Roger that. And we will shoot him with everything. Um, leave the SRM-6 off, I think. We'll just use the Goss Mag Shot and Narcan Tag. Hopefully we can hit the leg. I think we got it. Do we get it? We did get it, okay. Did we? We did. We double legged him. It's just not registering. Okay, I've had that happen a few times. Hopefully we can complete this mission. Since it says the defending forces have got 75%. Um, okay. So you're just going to brace there. And we'll move forward. So now we got to identify which turrets we're going to try and take out. I think it was this one here on the left side, or this one back here. Hmm. There should only be four turrets, so... Uh, let's just move forward. Once again, we're not going to move height up to engage the turrets until after... Um, or to engage the uh, buildings until after the turrets have been removed. We're just going to keep them braced back here. Good to go. Vane Skater can't do much damage either, but Double we're going to bring him up. Go. Okay. Order. Can't really see anything, like... Hmm. Let's try and start on this side over here. Okay, so one of the, they go on, that's, turn two is the Wolverine, I think. But it's dead, so I don't know what we're going to do here. Up, Hopefully it shows up in the loot table. It would be kind of crappy if it didn't. Um, I don't even know if we're going to see a turret here. Oh, there we go. Two turrets. So I think this one here on the right is the PPC turret. So, let's just keep you there. I got you. And Vane Skater will bring him up over here. Wow, the heat here is really ridiculous. Waiting for orders. There we go. Got it, Commander. And we'll fire everything on the turret. 
So this is a standard sniper turret. With 170 hit points. Oh, just not quite enough. Ah. Uh, miss, 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 miss. Okay. I think there's another one up there too. I think this other turret's the same thing. Okay. Waiting for orders. So let's move forward. Copy. Identify this other turret here. This is what? Hardened sniper turret. Two ERPPCs and AC5 rotary. So yeah, this guy's getting targeted right now. Um, let's get you a little closer because we're going to need you up here in a minute. Hmm. I think you should be over where Bane Skater is, but let's get him out of the way first then. We need everything on this turret now. Wow. No, we definitely need the narc and the tag. Um, SRM6, I think, overall might do more damage than Goss Magshot. Well, it did hit with a few anyway. So now I can move you up over here, get behind this rock. And then let's get Flatliner full sprint over here. We definitely do not want to be standing still for these turrets and everything on this guy. Let's hope we kill him. Yes. Good. That would have been nasty. That's nasty. Jeez. I don't think I've ever had such a bad time with turrets. Alright, we're just going to walk up here. Shoot this turret. Hopefully get it out of the way. Just with the PPC. Okay, that's that one done. That turret is gone. That turret is gone. Alright, let's get height up here. Start barbecuing some of these buildings here. Let's go after this first one, which is two flamers. Actually, you know what? We're not even going to attack this turn. Such a low chance to hit. Bane yeah, Skater, just going to move up here. Get behind the wall or the rocks here so we're not being hit by that turret. Get some heat back. Flatliner, same thing. We're just going to walk up here. Onward. Let's target this building. Enemy structure is weakening. So I don't want to re be doing too much sprinting at this moment. There's no real need to. Moving to position. Just walking up. I mean, obviously, we we'll want to kill these buildings as fast as we can, but uh, there's no point in overheating just destroying buildings, especially when we have turrets to kill still, still too. So, so these flamers should kill this building. Yep. Good shot, Fire works very good on buildings. How's it going? Okay, you're not going to fire. You're just going to walk up. Brace, getting that heat back. And once again, just walking up. Multi-target you and you. Uh, these are going to B, and that's going to A. Is that enough? Nope. That's okay. We'll get it next turn. All right. Let's see now if we can see these turrets. We can from here. Question is, On it. is this reinforced? Hardened. AC 10. Okay, well. Aye, aye. 
So I guess both um, Ground Zero and uh, Flatliner should easily be able to take that one out. So let's just walk up here with height. Can we see any more? We can't get any flame around these buildings. We can if we're down here, though. Copy that. So we'll just walk over here, do another full flamer load on one of these buildings here. Large military building. Let's put four. I'm on Won't destroy it, but it'll be pretty darn close. Main skater, same thing. Just walk him up and we'll target this building here. Fire. That should probably do it. Yep. Excellent. You cannot do this all day. You will run out of ammo. Alright, so that should be good to take out that last hardened turret. Finish it up, boy. There we go. One turret left. One less annoyance for us. I'm still wondering if I'm going to get actually get that Wolverine. Ready for orders. Copy that. Standard shredder. This should be okay, I think. Target confirmed. Be heating up a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, this whole place is hot like crazy. So let's finish up this building, which has got five hit points left. So let's just put the small laser on it. That should do that one. And that's what, three to six? You did, boy. All right, so height. Just get him up here. Targeting this building. Just gonna go with three flamers this time. Then it'll be two, and then it'll be one. But by that time we should be done. Okay. Just missiles on this on this uh, turret now. I think that should all we be all we need on this guy. Yeah, it's 78, so we're just gonna unload the missiles. Oh, we've only got 20 left. Well, 20 times five is 100, so we should be able to kill him. Nice. Perfect amount of <laughs> perfect amount of missiles. One less turret. Good thing I saved them. I'm out of long range missiles. That's okay. Don't need to worry about that now, buddy. Alright, medium on this guy. Should finish this building. Oh, not finish it off, but get close. Getting close. Um height, stand there. Shoot this building. Three flamers, nice. That should do that one. So that's what, four, five, four? Bain skater, stand still, attack this building. That should do that one. Nice. And one left. Doesn't matter which one, doesn't really matter which one. Let's just turn around and shoot this guy over here. Both medium lasers. And then Height should be able to finish it up next turn. Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Finish it up, Baba. Let's do this. Are you kidding me? You gotta be shitting me. I do need something. I need to finish this freaking building off, please. Um. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> yes, Commander. Really? It's just so hot on here. Note to self, don't take lasers next time. Leopard inbound, Commander. I meet you at the LZ. Okay, so it's marked as being done. So I wonder if that Wolverine will show up in the loot table. That is interesting. Alright, so let's see if that Wolverine is going to show up in this loot table. So 100,000 should be enough for repairs. We didn't lose anything. Nothing got damaged. Oh, we did. We lost a lower arm. 
arm lower, which we've got, I think, a replacement for. But that's it. And nothing on this guy, nothing on this guy. Cool. So it's a little bit of repair time. No injuries, which is great. And the Wolverine does show up in the loot table. So that's great. So five parts showed up here. So we're going to take the AC-10 Ultra. Um, and the Clan Flamer. And maybe not. Hmm, what else is here? Clan Light Machine Guns. Street 2s. Nice big engine. Um... Street twos. We don't really have a use for street twos. And like clan light machine guns. 0.25. If I remember correctly, I think our fire starter. Our fire starter has got ballistic hard points. So I mean we could pull a f one flamer out and put two light machine guns in. But damage two times five, like maximum ten points damage, minor amount of stability. Although they are good for trying for head hits, maximum four hundred and forty meters. So it would give him some range and deter heat problems. Although this flamer here, the clan flamer, doesn't really. I mean, reduces the weight by half a ton. But the other half a ton, we there's nothing we can do with it. Hmm. Range is 180. It's the same for the regular flamers. Hmm. Well, I mean, we could downgrade one of our flamers and put in this flamethrower instead. I mean, the damage is still the same. The heat damage is a little lower. But when four of our flamers hit, we can shut down a mech instantly right now. So, actually, you know what? Let's just grab both the flamers. Oh, there's a large pulse laser, too. That's worth some good coin. Hmm. I don't think I'll use it because of the weight and the amount of heat it generates. But we could sell it. I think right now, since we've got... I think we're okay. I think we're going to take this. We're going to go for more for utility. The Ultra Ultra 10 we can't really use right now, but because it's clan tech, um, I'm sure we'll have use for it later on, and I'm not sure how often we're going to come across it. So let's just take that, confirm, and we'll go. All right, so we got one, two, three, four Wolverine parts. That's awesome. That is great. So hopefully in the next few days of playing, we'll come across a few more of these guys. We're going to start taking mostly two skull missions now if we can. One and a half, two skull, and we'll start working our way up. So 28,000 in repairs, not too bad. So we made about 72,000 on this, on this run, somewhere around there. So that's pretty good. Um, two days for financial uh, reports. So let's just do this real quick. Um, get our mechs repaired before the next game. Um, just have a quick look to see. Lothian League is really close to where we are and so is the Marian Hegemony. These guys are actually fighting each other. So maybe we can go over there and maybe flip some planets once we leave uh, Merrick space here. Nothing really interesting there. Uh, Circinus Federation has joined the war against who? Oh, against Free Worlds League? Really? So, okay. So, Kinnis Federation is attacking the... Oh, well, we're going to have to look for some planets next time that perhaps we can go and do some missions on to flip. Make some good money here. Yeah, nothing else over there. Okay. Hmm. After hearing that Payroll was involved in an accident, you stopped by Medbay to... To visit the mech warrior, she recovers. Hi, Commander. Payroll touches the bandage on her head. I was doing pull-ups on the wall shelf, and it came loose. The shelf above it came down, too, right on my head. You shake your head, frowning. You know those shelves aren't rated for your weight. So, Payroll laughs. I wish I had, better, I wish I had a better option, Commander. There's just not enough room to roam right now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to develop an a, uh, exercise regiment for them. Oh, 
I guess they don't really like me about, much about that, eh? Over the next week, you and Darius develop a daily training routine for the mech warriors involving simple body weight exercises and jogging laps around the Alpha Pod corridors. When, Paro, when Payroll gets out of med bay, she joins the training. Darius reports that the, the warriors are grumpy about having to exercise imposed on them, but he hopes that this will help them keep out of trouble. If we repair and reopen the gymnasium in Beta Pod, that would probably be better received. Payroll suffers one injury. Morale decreased by two. Got well, you, sorry guys, but uh, got to stay fit. Of course, I'm too busy to run laps. I, I've, I've got to, you know, manage the ship. So, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I can't really join. I can't, I can't really join in. All right, so let's just quickly get our mechs repaired here. So let's have a quick look at the fire starter. Now it's nice that we got both bays running at the same time, so we can get things done efficiently here. So refit the fire starter. We're just going to put the uh, lower arm back in. If I'm pretty sure we have one. Yeah, arm lower. We're just going to swap that out. Cool. That's the last one we have. So hopefully we, hopefully we pick one up somewhere along the line. Now maybe, I don't know. I'll leave this mech for now. I was going to have a look and see if there's anything else we can really do with this. But there really isn't. It's kind of maxed out already. Other than swapping this out for a clan flame or maybe putting like another half a ton of armor on it just to max it out. I don't really know what else to do with this thing right now. Hopefully we'll be moving away from these flamers and stuff shortly. Once we get a few uh, medium mechs we'll be away from these guys. Alright, you know let's finish up this, these repairs. Job's done, Commander. Okay, cool. So next time when we come back I think what we'll do um, since we've got another six days to upgrade the ship here, um, we'll probably pull off one more contract before leaving Merrick Space. Uh, we might do the Intelligence Agent one. Um, I'm going to stay away from Merrick. I think we want to kind of side ourselves more with the periphery. Um, so I'll stay away from doing missions for House Merrick here. Um, and maybe just stay with the local government. So we, we, may, we may pull off an Intelligence Agent next time or something along that line. And then we'll get ourselves... Uh, out of Merrick space and either to where the Lothian League is, which is just actually if we go to the star map here real quick, it's just kind of south of the, the Circinus Federation, so it's just down here. Yeah, Lothian League's right there, and we're right over here. So, looks like Circinus Federation, Free Worlds League. See, we have a chance to flip some of these planets, right? This one right here, hard size. That used to be Circinus Federation, I believe. But it's ice climate, so I mean it's perfect for our max. Um, we could flip this guy too, Greenstone. I think that was probably originally the uh, Circinus Federation as well. So we'll go over here and we'll try and flip some planets next time. That's kind of cool. We'll see if we can get this Circinus Federation back to where it was. Yeah, we'll flip these. We'll try and flip these back here next time. All right, but until then, uh, I'll see you later.